Welcome back, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about a couple of things uh, that I get asked a lot across all of my channels. Those being, what is bot profit? Where is it paid out? What can I do with my bot profit? What is some value? What does it all mean in terms of my wallet balance, etc., etc.? Now, I will be referring to tracking your wallet balance, okay? And I did a video on this, and there'll be a link in the bio um, on how to track your wallet balance, okay? As well as a spreadsheet that I created that's available over at my blog. There will be a link as well. Okay, so I'll be talking to those. Uh, if you want to check those out and use those, I highly recommend them. As you'll see, it helps provide some clarity with the confusion that goes on. Now, I want to thank you all for liking the last video. It got in front of a lot of people. I would please ask you to do that again. Uh, a lot of people got a lot of benefit out of it, um, and you can only just read the comments on that video to see how much it has helped. So please like help the YouTube algorithm get it in front of the people who need it most. Now, if you don't already know, I do have a course and the final sixth module is being released on Monday the 20th of December. After that, the price will be increasing. So this is just a heads up if you are thinking about or wanting to join, uh, there's a link in the bio um, and there will be a price increase from there on. Now, without further ado, let's jump in and talk bot profit and everything bot profit and balances. So first of all, disclaimer, you can see that I have blurred out three sections of this particular account. The reason for doing this is I want you to focus on what I'm trying to teach you, okay? I don't want you focusing on coin pairs. I don't want you focusing on my grid levels. I don't want you focusing on any of that. I want you focusing on what I'm trying to teach you and it's very important because this is a fundamental. If you don't understand this fundamental, start throwing money at bots, okay? Whether it's demo or live, it's going to hurt you in the long run. So I want, this is very controlled and I want you to focus. Now, what is bot profit? Now, first of all, um, I need to advise that I am trading USDT pairs. So for example, Bitcoin slash USDT, okay? Bitcoin would be my base and, and uh, USDT would be my quote currency. So I am using USDT or I'm trading USDT pairs. If you wanna know more about base and quote, please head to the BitScap tutorial, uh, my last week's video, there'll be a link in the bio as well, just to learn more about the basics. But what I'm trading here is USDT pairs and we can see over on the right hand side here that USDT, Okay, we can see that we've got some available balance here. So when I buy low, sell high, all of my profit is being paid out in USDT. So that's what that means and I just need to make that clear. So what happens? Let's have a little bit of spot. It's generated $127 in bot profit. Now what does that mean? Well that means that $127, okay, has been generated and the profits is generated in USDT. And that $127 is paid out to the available balance. For USDT, so we've got USDT over here, and that $127 will be placed over here, okay? And that goes for all of my bots. So $124 would have been placed here, $110 would have been placed here. Now you can see that I have generated $1,080 overall in bot profit, but over here I have $275. You're wondering what's the difference? Where's it gone? That's a big difference there. I don't know what it is, $890 off the top of my head, $800, $900. Where is it? Well, what I've done, okay, is I've gone and reinvested that into bots. I've gone and put that money, okay, that 1,000 or part thereof into another bot, okay? So that is what we're able to do. When it gets paid out into our available balance, we can withdraw that. We can also go and reinvest it into another bot. Now, it is very important to know that when it gets paid here and I move it, it does not update or reflect the bot that the money is associated with, okay? Or the bot profit is associated with. So for example, the $127 here, okay? I would have gone and spent that or reinvested that, but it does not update it here, okay? And the reason for that, there is good reason for that. It is because it needs to track overall how this bot is tracking. Is it performing well? And it assumes that the bot profit, the $127 is still sitting within my available balance. All right, so just to recap, it's generated $127. It's put it in my available balance for USDT because that is my quote currency. I've generated profits in my quote currency USDT. When it has been paid out, I've gone and used that to start another bot. And when I've done that, it does not update the bot in which the bot profits came from. So it has gone and placed all that 1,080 into my available balance. So I've then gone and started new bots, okay? And then what's happened is it's actually increased my sum value, all right? So we'll talk through that in just a moment. So just to talk about that, what we need to think about or what we need to refer to is this is my wallet balance, okay? 
Now, I always advise to look at your exchange for your current up-to-date balance, and that is what I talk about in the video where I talk about tracking your balance over time. However, what I'm going to do for the purpose of this video is just to refer to this. Now, there's going to be a slight difference between exchange and what our Bitscap tells us because of API, but what we're going to do is I'm just going to tell you right now and give you two points of reference, okay? But if I was in live accounts, I would be referencing my, my actual exchange. But let's just walk through what this is telling us. So right now, okay, it's saying that I've got a balance of these two in total and it's split into these two components. One is in trade and one is in available. So what is the combination of those two together? Okay, is the 1626256, oh, okay, it's just changed. And it will change, 256 plus 515. So right now, the total amount of base and quote, so base currency at market price and my quote currency, which is USDT, combined my total wallet balance at the exchange would be worth $16,771. All right, exchange is always accurate and true. So I cannot have more than this because that is pulling from my exchange. It's calculating all of my base currencies at market price and you can see that I've got 30 of this token or coin and it's worth $311. So it's getting that figure from the exchange for us. Now, and just to recap, $16,771. Now, we can see that the sum value is $17,421. There is a difference between what I've actually got and what Bitscap is telling me. Now, we know, because I've just explained, that the bot profit has been paid out. I've then gone and reinvest, reinvested it into a new bot. Okay, and when I reinvest that money into a new bot, it's added to the value column. So then if I add another bot, its value is then associated to here. And then we tally all of these up and the sum value is affected. And therefore we get the difference between 17425 and 16771. This is our actual wallet exchange balance. And the reason why it's going to show larger value here is because it needs to, and when it does take into consideration, it assumes that the bot profit is still sitting here. However, we've gone and reinvested it. However, here we need to understand bot profit is paid out. If I reinvest it and I place it back in here, it is being counted twice per se. And therefore that's why we get an increase in some value overall. Now you're wondering bot profit, heaps of money there, and my total P&L. Well, this P&L then becomes okay, a reference point to an inflated figure. Again, it's paid out, I've started a new bot, it's then increased this figure when my actual exchange, okay, my actual wallet balance is 16,771. It is then creating profit figures or PL, okay, based on an inflated figure. That is why we always track at the exchange and we track using our balance tracker, which I'll show you and there'll be a link. Sorry, I won't show you, but there's a link in the bio. So we can track our wallet balance over time because if we're reinvesting into our bots, okay. We're taking those funds and we're withdrawing, it creates a lot of confusion. So therefore we need a source of truth and the source of truth is the exchange. Now this issue is further compounded, okay? When we use trailing down, it is a very advanced uh, feature. So I will not be covering that, but just please note that bot profit is paid out here. If you go and reinvest it and start a new bot, it will be counted twice because you've now got a new bot with value the bot profit's already associated with another bot that has value, and therefore when we tally it up, it inflates our sum value, okay? Then throws our PL out of whack, and therefore that's why we have to track at the exchange. Very important. Please head to my other video, um, and you can get a hands-on uh, uh, demo on how I use that balance tracker. You can get that for free over at my blog, okay? And if you are interested in learning more about BitGap, Okay, and how I've used it, the strategies and process that I've used. Uh, again, my course is available at its current price until the 20th of December and it will be increasing. If you did find some value out of this, this provided some clarity. There is people out there that don't have the clarity that need it. So please like this video, please get it in front of them, let YouTube do its thing. Once again, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.